Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Danny B, and it's time for my minute to discuss a little bit about NASCAR. Let's go. All right, so the first thing is going off our story from Friday, where we discussed what was going on with Brett Moffat and Griffin Spear. Brett Moffat on Friday put something else on Twitter at this, and he said, "I'll make a deal. If we get 100 new veterans' names on the truck by next week, I'll make sure that Griffin Spear has two pit passes and a seat on our GMS Racing pit box." So, with that being said, guys, you can go on to I think it's Plan B Sales website and pay to have more veterans' names put on to the car. Uh, if you want to help out and get Griffin the opportunity, I recommend going ahead and doing that. Former girlfriend of Kurt Busch has been sentenced to prison for fraud and tax evasion. That's right, Patricia Driscoll, the former girlfriend of Kurt Busch, was sentenced to 12 months and one day in prison on Thursday in U.S. District Court for her role in what she stole from a non-profit charity designed to help military members and their families. U.S. District Judge Richard J. Leon has also ordered Driscoll to serve 36 months supervised release, a period of home confinement, 360 hours of community service, and pay $154,289 in restitution and $81,779 in a money judgment forfeiture. On Saturday, Elliot Sadler participated in the Xfinity Series race and this was his very last start according to Sadler. Sadler says if you want to find him now, you'll have to find him in Poirier, Virginia. He's very happy with his role as a father now and I believe after this weekend, the racing blood is done in him. I want to wish a very special congratulations to former NASCAR driver Bill Lester and his wife Cheryl Lester as they celebrate 25 years of marriage. I just came across the post from Bill Lester on Facebook over the week, and I just wanted to say again, congratulations to Bill and Cheryl. Now let's talk about some stuff that happened over the race weekend. In the Truck Series race, Ross Chastain led a lot of this race, but in the end of it, Austin Hill was able to chase down Chastain and score his third win of the season and his first win in the playoffs, which would advance him into the next round. While this race was the first race of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs and the last race of the regular season of the Xfinity Series, this weekend was an elimination race in in the first round of the Truck Series playoffs. With that being said, the six drivers advancing into the next round of playoffs are Brett Moffitt, Austin Hill, Ross Chastain, Stuart Friesen, Matt Crafton, and Tyler Ankrum. The two drivers that were eliminated were two that were seen as very high favorites for the championship, Johnny Sauter and Grant Enfinger. Now, as I already mentioned, this was the last race of the regular season for the Xfinity Series, and Tyler Reddick was able to pull off another victory this weekend at Las Vegas. Now that the regular season has come and gone for the Xfinity Series, there are three drivers that we've seen all season that, to me, would seem like the most likely people to go out and win this year's championship. It could be Christopher Bell, it could be Cole Custer, it could be Tyler Reddick. I hope to see the three of those guys in the championship four when I go to Miami, along with another driver, but the 12 drivers that will be advancing into the playoffs this year for the Xfinity Series are as follows. Christopher Bell, Cole Custer, Tyler Reddick, Austin Sendrick, Chase Briscoe, Justin Allgaier, Michael Annette, Noah Gregson, Brandon Jones, Justin Haley, Ryan Sieg, and John Hunter Nemechek. Good luck to all the competitors this year in the Xfinity Series playoffs, and I look forward to see who the champion will be. Now on Sunday, just right at the beginning of the Cup Series race at Las Vegas, we found out some actually some tragic news. Nine-time NASCAR champion and modified racing legend Mike Stefanik has actually sadly passed away after a plane crash. This is such a tragic story to have to report on, but unfortunately it is. It's not something that's not uncommon to the world of NASCAR. We've lost several drivers in this way. Mike Stefanik, you will be remembered, sir, for all of your great racing accomplishments and we really hate that you're gone, sir. However, with that being said, Sunday, we did also have the Cup Series race, and in this race, Martin Truex Jr. would go ahead and go on to win this race and the first race of the NASCAR playoffs, and I have to admit, it's starting to feel like the 2017 playoffs again. Maybe we're going to see a similar result. However, one driver who did not have a good day was Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, well, he wasn't very happy after the race, and he definitely let his attitude get out of hand against the media with NASCAR. I'm not saying I can blame him for being upset, but... Maybe you should watch the way you're talking around the media and the way you represent the sponsors. All I'm going to say, Kyle, that's all for me. That's been my minute, and I'll see you guys for the next one on Friday. Have a great day, and don't forget, I will be doing a special live stream this Thursday. You guys are going to help me do something very cool. You're going to help me design my new fishing kayak for 2020. I look forward to seeing you guys there. Bye, guys.